guys need water? You're good. Okay, questions. Raise your hand. Let us get the handheld mic to you. Let us know who you are and who you're with. First one to our left. Hey, Hubert, Brendan Marks in The Athletic. was just wondering if you had an update on Armando's ankle or what Doug told you or, or sort of what was going on there as much as you knew. Yeah, um, it, uh, they were able to loosen it up at halftime, and that's why he felt like that he can go out there and play. Um, he was hobbling a little bit at the, you know, in the second half, and then um, – and I asked him, I said, are you okay? And he says, no, I feel, I feel really good. And once I took him out, then it was done. You know, I didn't want it to stiffen up or get cold. And so once we took him out, I tried to keep him there as long as possible and then took him out and, um, so he can be done for the night. To our left. This one's for Coach and for Caleb. Josh Graham, WSJS. After the shots didn't fall on Saturday from three, Caleb, how satisfying was it to see it go down tonight and – how confident do you feel you're going to be able to sustain it as the week goes on for both of you? Um, I just feel like, you know, if we take the right shots and, you know, we make the right plays as far as, you know, creating shots for, you know, all of us, I think, you know, you, you do have the confidence when you do, you know, have an open shot to make, make the shot. And so uh, we was creating a lot of shots for uh, our guys and, um, you know, getting in the paint, um, kicking it out for, you know, our shooters. And, you know, coach instills in us confidence to make the shot. Yeah, I, you know, uh, the thing that I'm focusing on was, you know, the 16 assists. And so, you know, when we're sharing the basketball and it's good to great, it doesn't surprise me that, um, you know, um, the ball goes in. And so, yeah, we were able to shoot the ball well, um, especially, well, for the entire game, but, you know, also from three-point range. But I, feel, I really felt like uh, the passing was really good tonight. We were just going good to great the entire night, and that, that led us to, to shooting high, high percentage shots. Second row. Uh, Coach Michael Coe, WCHL, how satisfying was it for you to see guys like Dontrez, DeMarco, uh, Jalen, Justin McCoy get uh, really great plays, highlight plays out there tonight? I do. You know, it was great. You know, to, I, I felt like everybody that played in the game made um, an impact play to put us in a position to be able to win. Got great minutes um, out of the bench. I thought DeMarco played really well. Uh, Puff, uh, Trez, Tyler Nickel, Jalen, Seth, uh, Justin towards the end. And so, you know, when you're in a situation where you're playing four games and or possibly four games in four days, um, you need depth. And... Um, uh, the guys off the bench were ready to go, and they did a really good job tonight. Questions for Pete also, please. For Pete um, and then for Coach, you're in the ACC tournament. You're in Greensboro. How do expectations meet reality of being a part of this tournament, Pete? And for you, Coach, first time as the head coach coaching here, when it feels real, what – what does it mean to you, if anything at all, to be coaching here in Greensboro? It means a lot to me. This is what I remember when I, you know, you know in terms of ACC basketball, just remembering my uncle Walter Davis play here in Greensboro. And um, I just remember they don't understand this, but, you know, when I was growing up for the ACC tournament, you, you could have an excused absence to stay at home to watch the 12 o'clock game or the teacher would put the game on in the classroom. That's how big the ACC tournament was. And so um, to be a part of it as a player, to be a part of it as an assistant coach and to be a part of it as a head coach is very special to me. Pete? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's, I think it's awesome. Um, <clears throat> To be a part of this tournament, obviously growing up and growing up and watching a lot of great players play in this same tournament um, is a surreal, a surreal thing for me, and just happy I get to do it with this team and, and these guys. So it's it's a, it's an awesome feeling. To our right, this is for Caleb. Uh, you've seen Armando go down before in different games, and he seems to exude a certain amount of toughness. When he went down the first half, did you fully expect? Oh yeah, he's all right. He's going to be back in the second half. Yeah, you know, uh, he's tough as nails, and, uh, you know, he wanted to be out, out there for, you know, this team, and um, I don't have no doubt, you know, that he'll be ready to play tomorrow, and so um, that just, you know, goes to show how much, you know, Armando cares about this this team, this program, um, and then just 
you know, um, just shows how much, you know, uh, he'll be willing to put his body on the line uh, for this team. Left aisle. Bob Holiday, WL.com. A question for Hubert and for players. Boston College likes games in the 60s. You put up 85 tonight. Uh, talk about some of the things that you did to force the tempo, creating turnovers, uh, getting up and down the floor, um, passing. You had a, a great uh, assist to basket ratio tonight. Coach. Well, I mean, Boston College is a tremendous um, um, defensive team, and they're extremely uh, physical. They've got really good individual one-on-one -on -one defenders. And when you have uh, Quentin Post in the paint, now they have length and shot blocking ability. It was really, um, uh, we talked about from an offensive standpoint, for us to have success, one, it started on the defensive end so we can get the rebound and we can get out in transition. Two, we had to have great spacing and balance, ball movement and player movement to give us an opportunity to attack the paint and drive so that we can get to the free throw line. And I just felt like, um, I felt like we did that really well tonight. Caleb? Um, yeah, you know, coach, you know, always, you know, tells us to, you know, push the pace and, you know, run our offense with pace. And I feel like we did that well tonight as far as, you know, pitching ahead and, you know, getting a lot of drag screens, um, you know. And our defense is, you know, our best offense. So when we do get defensive stops, get steals, uh, we can get out in transition and we can run. And then it just makes our offense so much easier. Middle of the room. This is for Caleb. Uh, throughout the year, you've kind of been, you know, one of the flashier guys, whether it's, you know, throwing up the three goggles after a three-pointer or just, you know, talking junk. Tonight, after a lot of your threes, you know, pretty serious, calm mood, pointing to the passer kind of thing. Do you feel like tonight, with it being winner go home basketball for you guys, it's just a different level of focus and intensity from yourself throughout the night? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, um, I was just trying to win the game and, um, you know, all the other stuff, you know, it wasn't needed. To our left aisle. Yeah, Kip Coons for uh, Press Box View. Uh, Hubert, the, uh, up until tonight, the crowds have been pretty quiet and kind of just spectating, not really uh, cheering a team on, uh, and they've been small. Until tonight, when you guys took the floor, it seemed like all of a sudden the tournament was real. D do you th have a feeling that they can almost will you to a championship and, or an NCAA bid just because of their emotion? Well, I, I never looked at it from that standpoint, but I, you know, I just I love the support of all of our fans. Um, whether we're here at the ACC tournament on the road, and specifically in the Smith Center, um, the uh, the fan support has been off the chart. They've always been there to help, to encourage, to lift us up, and they make a difference. You know when. When you run out of that tunnel and you see a lot of people in Carolina blue shirts and they're cheering and and um, encouraging our players, it helps them out there on the floor and um, we love to see it out there. Middle of the room. Andrew Schnicker with the Wilson Times. Question for Coach and for Caleb. Um, you guys had 16 assists today. How much did the ball movement and the way that you guys were kind of able to work those passes inside out help you with setting up some of those open shots on the outside? Well, I thought everybody um, did a really good job of uh, sharing the basketball. Uh, one of the things that we always talk about is have a .5 mentality. So as soon as you catch the ball, either you're shooting it, you're passing it, or driving it. And I, I really think you know, all the guys did a really good job of doing that tonight. The ball didn't stick very much at all. And so we were really uh, aggressive and definitive in our moves. And uh, I think that – uh, contributed to us having 16 assists. Yeah, um, just what Coach said. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to play inside out. Uh, you know, we have a load as far as Mondo in the paint. And, you know, he draws a lot of attention. So he creates, you know, opportunities for us to, you know, get easy buckets um, as far as cutting and open threes. So um, we, we just play inside out, drive, kick, um, dump offs, and then obviously, you know, playing throughout Mondo. Third row, let's also get some questions for Pete, please. Yeah, Coach Hunter Nelson from the Daily Tar Heel. So, obviously, with Armando playing at less than 100%, I know you talked about it a little bit earlier, but is there, like, one to two guys that will maybe step in in his place, I guess, in the rotation? Or are you guys just going to sort of switch your game plan altogether, I guess, to try to get more outside looks? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't thought about it yet. I've got to get back to the hotel and have some dinner first, and then I can think about it. But 
Armando uh, just now leaving the locker room said said he he felt really you know really good and that uh, he's already probably already back at the uh, hotel getting treatment. I've never seen anybody sustain um, ankle sprains and be able to come back like like uh, he can. Um, he didn't think it was as bad as the one, um, obviously, in the Final Four and also the one that uh, when he hurt it uh, at Virginia. And so um, when Armando's out there, whether he's 100% or 75%, that's good news for us. Okay, get ready, Pete. Here they come. Second row. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Pete. Um, you wake up. Uh, this <laughs> – just wanted to ask, I mean, simply, you know, how nice was it to see the lead growing there and being able to get other people in off the bench from the standpoint of your, you know, wanting to make this a long tournament stay? Um, just how nice was it to build the lead and also how, how much you're going to need everybody to try to do this whole thing this week? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was great. Um, the guys coming off the bench did a really great job. Um, not even, I mean, the scoring was great, but I thought they played with – um, great energy and great intensity. Um, but, yeah, I think Coach Davis talked about um, how we need to just make a little bit of a change within ourselves. And I think all year long we've let teams kind of climb back into, into games a little bit. And I think it was good um, for our confidence to kind of maintain that lead throughout the second half and, and keep them at distance. So I think it kind of shows to growth and change in this group um, at the right time. Take three more questions, front row. Brett Friedlander, Saturday Road. Um, Pete, the last four games now, this is the second time you've had four blocks in a game. Is that something you've been concentrating on doing more, or is that just a circumstance you had opportunities? Uh, yeah, I think it's just um, definitely trying to do my job and just protect the basket, uh, protect the rim. But a lot of it's just circumstances, too. I think, um, you know, I was able to – I think we played good individual defense all night, but um, being able to come over um, on help side and get some blocks, I think um, definitely helped us out. Just, just really just trying to do my job. Back left. Hey, Coach, Coach Davis, a little like in the past, a little like y'all were relying more on the three, from shooting from the outside, but a little like tonight y'all looked more relaxed and y'all was working the ball more so inside. So what brought that on, I mean, the change like that? Well, I mean, I thought we were, you know, one of the things that we talked about, you know, from an offensive standpoint is, you know, we wanted to attack the basket through post and penetration and also offensive rebounding. And, uh, you know, when we do that first, when we go inside and out, I just, you know, from an offensive standpoint, I just think it flows much better as opposed to outside in. You know, sometimes defenses dictate some of the shots that, you know, that we take um, at times, uh, you know, teams have um, put a couple extra defenders in the paint, and so it's been difficult for us to be able to get those consistent points near the basket. And um, at the end of the day, you're going to have to knock down some perimeter jump shots, whomever you're playing, in order to have success out there on the floor. But I felt like the balance and the approach going inside and out was really good tonight and, and hope to continue that uh, tomorrow night. Last question on the aisle. Question for Pete. You faced Virginia in less than 24 hours. Now, you had this experience uh, back in November of playing c consecutive nights, but it's been a long time since you've done that. Um, what are your thoughts about playing the Cavaliers again, and how do you prepare yourself um, and, and as a team um, to go against a team that you've just played and, and uh, need to beat? Uh, yeah, I think uh, tonight and tomorrow we'll do you know, a lot of rehab, a lot of stretching, um, things like that to stay loose. But... Um, you know, Virginia's a, Virginia's a really good team. Um, and, you know, we're, I think this team is just excited for any opportunity and any challenge. Um, so I think um, definitely looking forward to tomorrow night. And I think we'll just be ready to go. Thanks, guys. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Okay.